All right, so this uh, video walks you through how we can create what's called a tiled mosaic photo gallery. <clears throat> it's going to end up looking like this. Um, different themes do this differently, but this one in particular uses um, the Jetpack Gallery <coughs> plugin. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to set one of these up. All right, so to get things started, uh, all the images that you that you need for your gallery have to already be in the media library. So here's our collection of <clears throat> photos, and they're all ready there in the media gallery. So if you haven't done that already, that would be the first step is to make sure they're in here at the optimal size for retina display and let's go ahead and create a gallery so the way this particular theme works is we have to create a new post and I think this one I don't know we'll just call grand And then there's another setting that you have to do here. You have to change the format to gallery. Now, if you don't see this format uh, option, you, have, you can go to screen options and make sure that format, this checkbox right here for the boxes is checked. And that way you can choose it. So this is uh, pretty important because this will pull it into your overall gallery page. All right, and the next thing we'll do is we're going to add media. So you just have the cursor here in the text area, click add media. Now the files should already be there, but I guess if you hadn't uploaded them yet, now you could, but we're gonna go ahead and find the images that we want for that gallery. Um, Looks like we start here, and it's a good idea to add the alt text. Now if you want the title and the file name and the alt text to all match, that's fine. Um, I do go through this step with each of the images. <clears throat> if you wanted to write a different description here, don't do it with the description box, do it with the alt text. You can add a description if it's a lengthy one, uh, but if it's just a short description, then just do it with the alt text. And um, that's for accessibility, people with visual impairment. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure what somebody with visual impairment would be doing looking at a photo gallery, but that's all right. We're going to make it accessible anyway. And does it matter if it's capitalized? No. So you get to watch me do all these. And let's see. Um, oh, okay. So I'm, I make I made a mistake here. We will. I, oh man, I hope this doesn't undo all those alt tags. So we need to. I hope those save to all those images. <laughs> anyway, we need to create a gallery next. So let's go ahead and create a gallery, in which case we're going to choose <clears throat> the images that we want in the gallery. So we'll check. Uh, it looks like it did keep the alt text. So you could have done this first and then added the alt text. I did that a little bit out of order. And so we're now checking 
all of the images that will go into this gallery. It's a pretty good sized one. <clears throat> I put a lot of, uh, there's a lot of images for this one, which is going to make the tiled mosaic work a lot better. If you didn't have a lot of images, then the tiled mosaic may not quite work the way you would hope it would. And I just have a few more. All right, so I think you got the idea. So all of these are now checked. And this will get pulled into a single gallery once I click Create New Gallery. And then after I've done that, I would go ahead and leave the gallery settings to default right now. And we'll go ahead. Oh, not there is one more thing you got to change here. So in, in the gallery settings, you've got several options. Um, the one I've been using is called Tiled Mosaic, but if you ever wanted to play around or check out these other ones, you could use those as well. Uh, and then we put in Insert Gallery. <clears throat> now, generally speaking, it's going to look like this in the editor window, but that doesn't mean that's what it's going to look like when it gets published. If you ever needed to edit the gallery, you would go ahead and click on this edit and then you can either add more images or change the images. So let's go ahead and publish this. All right, and as soon as <clears throat> we're done with that, we can view what this looks like. And there we go. And what's cool is WordPress does this tiling automatically. And if you click on it, it starts the tile show. And it takes you through each image one by one. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. And it even lets people comment on each of the photos. If you wanted to write a comment about each of the photos yourself, you could add that right here. Um, Let's go back and edit the post again. I wanted to show you a few more things that you can do with this. <clears throat> so if we go to text view, you'll see that it put in a short code. And if we wanted to write some text, you can place text here. You can also place text here. So it does give you, you do have the option if you want to write descriptions or uh, write content on these posts. So I'll go ahead and update that to show you what that looks like. We'll go to view post. And this is where text above your photo gallery would be. So if you want to write a description of what this photo gallery is about, you could do that. Or if you wanted to have text after. There's also a place where people can leave comments. And then automatically WordPress is going to suggest that you people look at other galleries as well. All right, so I'll go back to edit post. I'll take that content out. and just leave the gallery short code to keep everything consistent. <clears throat> so that's how we created a gallery page. And the next thing I need to do is add that to the menu. So if we look at the menu right now, you can see that there's a gallery section. So we want to add uh, our recent one right here. So we're going to come to menus and 
and there's already if you come here you want to make sure that you're you select main and you hit select then you come down here to posts and you should see the most recent one created you check it add it to the menu WordPress puts it over here you now have to click and drag that into the sub menu you can put these in any order you want and when you're done with that you hit save menu now when we come back to the site and refresh you'll see in the galleries menu that that recent gallery has been added now it, the other part because when we created the post we chose gallery as a format it automatically will get added to this thing but you will see that right now there isn't an image so let's go add what's called a featured image we'll go edit this post so we're back at the post where we added the gallery we need to add a featured image now I already I just used one of the photos um, <clears throat> from the gallery and you can just set that as your featured image we'll hit update let's go back and look at the gallery All right, so now when we go to the menu and we peep, if somebody just wants to see all of the galleries page, now you'll see that the featured image gets included. And now people can go to that gallery from this page as well. And there are your images. You can click on that and people can browse through that close it here and that's how uh, WordPress Jetpack Galleries works